Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of statistics. And if I talk about the question that is given to us here, the question tells us, let the mean and the variance of 20 observations, x1, x2 till x20. We have been given for this observations, the mean is 15 and the variance is 9. Further, it tells us for all alpha belongs to R, that is real numbers, the mean of the 20 observations that are x1 plus alpha whole squared, x2 plus alpha whole squared, till x20 plus alpha the whole squared. So mean of this 20 observations is given to us as 178. Then the question tells us to find out the square of maximum value of alpha. So we have to find the maximum value of alpha and then square it to get the answer. And if I talk about the answer choices, they are 4, 56, 3rd, 300, and the fourth option it's given to us is 784. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question given to us. So let's figure out if I see, first of all, it's told to me that the 20 observations have the mean as 15. So let's understand that. So mean is nothing but summation of all the 20 observations from i equals 1 to i equals 20. That is given to us 15. And divided by the number of observations, that gives us the mean. So number of observations are 20. So we get that sum of all the first 20 observations from i equals 1 to 20, it is nothing but 15 into 20, which is 300. So sum of first 20 observations is 300 that's given to us. Then it also tells us the variance is 9. If I talk about the variance, we know the formula for variance, which is summation of square of the observations from i equals to 1 to 20 divided by number of observations minus the square of the mean, that is x bar, whole square equals 9. So this is our variance. Now we know the variance. So it can figure out summation of all the squares of 20 observations that we have here. So if I figure out that, let's do it. Summation of i equals 1 to 20, x i square divided by 20 minus x bar square. x bar is nothing but the mean. So if I see 15 square, it's 9. So it further tells me here that summation of i equals 1 to 20 xi square over 20 is equals to 9 plus 225, which is 234. Multiplying it with 20 gives me summation of i equals 1 to 20 xi square 234 into 20, which is 0. 4 twos is 8, 3 twos is 6, and 2 twos is 4. So 4, 6, 8, 0 is the answer for this. Now, once I have this with me, the question further tells me that mean of the other 20 observations that are x1 plus alpha the whole square, x2 plus alpha the whole square, x3 plus alpha the whole square, and likewise still x20 plus alpha the whole square, divided by the number of observations that is 20, it's equals to 178. So once I have this with me, I can square all of this term. So I know when I square all of this terms, I get a plus b the whole squared, which is a square plus 2ab plus b squared. So from there, I get x1 squared plus x2 squared plus x3 squared plus x20 squared till the 20 observations, then I have 2 times a into b, which is 2 times x1 into alpha, x2 into alpha, x3 into alpha, x20 into alpha. And then last is b square, which is alpha square, alpha square, alpha square, alpha square, added 20 times. So if I do solve this, I get this as summation of i equals to 1 to 20 x i square plus 2 times summation i equals 1 to 20 x i and alpha, which is present, so I'll take alpha common. 
then further I have this as alpha square which is added 20 times so 20 and alpha square divided by 20 equals 178 so further I get this turning out to become summation of xi square so sum of squares of all the observations that we know already that is given to us as 4680 plus 2 alpha. So I will keep this as 2 alpha. Summation of xi from i equals 1 to 20. So sum of all the observations we know from the mean already that's 300. So I'll put that also. So 2 alpha into 300 plus the last idea, we know it's 20 alpha squares. So I'll keep it as it is, 20 alpha square. And that is equal to 178. This 20 gets multiplied with that. So 178 into 20, that makes it 3560. So from here, I get 20 alpha square, 600 alpha, and 4680 minus 3560 equals 0. So from here, I get 20 alpha square plus 600 alpha, 4680 minus 3560. If I see 4680 minus 3560, if I subtract it, I get 20 here and 46 minus 35 is 11. So 1120 equals 0. Dividing throughout by 20, let's divide throughout by 20. So these zeros get cancelled and these zeros also get cancelled. So two ones, two ones, two ones, two thirties, and two ones, two fifty six. So from here, I get alpha square plus thirty alpha plus one fifty six equals zero. Now, once I have this, if I try to solve it further, it's not one fifty six; it's just fifty six. So once I have this with me, if I just try to solve this further, I know I want the sum of the two values to become thirty. And those two numbers should make it the product as 56. So I can split 56 as 28 into 2 and the sum of that also makes it 30. So I get this alpha square plus 28 alpha plus 2 alpha plus 56 equals 0. If I further simplify this, taking out common from the first two and the last two terms, alpha common makes it alpha plus 28 plus 2 common alpha plus 28 equals 0. So from here, I get the values of alpha as minus 28 or alpha as minus 2. So I have got two values of alpha. Now, if I figure out the maximum value of alpha from the two of them is minus 2 that I have. And if I find the square of that maximum value of alpha, that's minus 2 the whole square, which is 4. And if you see the question that was asking to us the same thing, and if I see here the maximum value of alpha, the whole square, it turns out to become 4. That matches with option A. So A becomes a correct answer here for the question which is given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our series of questions on JWE mains. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you're enjoying these videos that we are doing every day, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of the questions on JWE so they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.